In this video, we are going to talk about rates of weight loss, whether you should go fast or slow. Always fast, isn't it? Minute. No prizes for coming second. <laughs> Absolutely not. I win again. <laughs> again. I win. Whether you should be going quickly, whether you should be going slowly, <coughs> and everything else you need to know in between. <laughs> First thing to consider. First thing to consider is, does your diet need to be sustainable? So no. a lot of people consider dieting that has to be sustainable based on their current weight, based on their goal weight, all that sort of stuff. How you diet to get to your goal weight is probably not going to be how you diet after your goal weight. You wouldn't want a diet to be sustainable because if you sustained it, you'd die. You'd have no, you'd you'd no die. body weight. You, you don't want to continue fat loss. So what you actually mean is you want to build sustainable habits that will see yes. that weight loss maintained. Yes. But the actual habits. fat loss doesn't need to be sustainable like you can be as aggressive or as relaxed as you want in a mm. diet as long as you get to the point where you are yep. so a big factor in that would be adherence so whether you're good at dieting if you're not very good at dieting if you've never dieted properly before if you tend to get hungry if you like doing social things the chances yep. are going aggressive you're you're not you're not likely to be able to stick to that and also as well your experience level with with diet as Mike mentioned it also comes into play also that comes into play with that is your awareness of calories that are in foods if you're brand new to tracking you're brand new to, to that sort of side of things you may be getting things slightly wrong so that's another thing you have to consider so being accurate with things like that is very very important so you may prefer to take a slightly slower approach because your day-to-day -day calories may be a little bit off just inaccuracy of tracking next point point two you right about there sorry mate i can't hear you i'm not angling you mate point two point two point point two and that's it. <laughs> Point two. Point two. Point two is that your, your diet does not have to be linear. So you do not have to stick with the same rate of weight loss all the way throughout your diet. You can have some weeks where you get more aggressive, you might lose a kilo, whatever. Some weeks you might just maintain and lose nothing. People have this obsession with thinking that their diet or their calories have to be the same each week or they have to make this linear weight loss over time. And it's just not true. It's not what happens in real life. You have some weeks, social occasions crop up. Don't knock the table. Don't knock the table. Social occasions. Don't knock that. Social occasions. Oh, what? Don't knock it. Don't knock it. Oh, don't oh. knock it. I was going to go. I'm um, looking for you, mate. When you've got social occasions, you know, you've got th events, holidays, things like that, weight loss isn't going to happen. And the problem that a lot of people have when they diet is that they have this all or nothing approach. They're either always on it and they have to be extremely, extremely aggressive with their diet or they're completely off it and they'd be extremely, extremely fat. People think that if you're dieting, you need to drop calories and drop calories and drop calories. But it's like a car journey. Like some, some days you'll be not traveling. Literally. Not, not literally. It didn't say literally though. It say <laughs> it's did. like, so I'm using a simile. Okay. okay? Simile. That's a simile. Simile. Yeah. 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 It's like a car journey. <laughs> so like sometimes you might be going along at 70, 80, 70 tops. No, you won't be going at 80. 70 tops. 70. But it's, it's still all right to just back off a little bit and drive 50. You don't have to be going hell for leather. Just go, right, okay, do you know what? I'm gonna have a little bit more food. I'm gonna do a little bit less cardio. Maybe still in a deficit mm. or even at maintenance for a week. But you're still gonna be moving where you want to get to, but just not as quick. But by doing that, you're less likely to, to crash, basically. You're less likely to um, fail on your diet because you can have periods where you go, actually, I've got quite a lot on this weekend. Do you know what? I'm just gonna allow myself a few more calories. The weight loss will be slightly slower, but I don't mind. So you don't have to go weight loss, weight loss, weight loss, weight loss. You don't. Anyway, point three. Yeah. Point number three. There was once a guy who fasted for well over a year. About 380 days. 380 days, it was over Just a year. Just over though. a year. He didn't no eat food. a thing. No food. And what happened to him, mate? Lost weight. Lost a lot yeah, of weight. Didn't plateau, didn't plateau with weight loss still, still to be had. Didn't happen. Did didn't it in starvation mode. Yeah, metabolic adaptation yeah. didn't occur because he, he wasn't eating. So if you don't eat, you'll just keep losing weight. Yeah. So when people say that you're eating too little or you're losing weight too quickly, it'll just come straight back on. That's not the case. Okay. Like, it will only come straight back on if you eat like you did prior to the diet, because that's what got you overweight in the fucking first place. So and, of course it will. And that diet is not sustainable in any way, shape or form. But yeah, after the diet, he maintained his body weight. He put on about, he put on, yeah, six kilos, which was running glycogen, food in the gut, water, all that sort of stuff. And he Barely saved his anything. life. Saved his life. Saved his life, because this guy was over, I think he was something like over 300 and odd pounds, and he'd lost a lot of weight. Yes, very similar to me. Similar physique. Um, and he lost a lot of weight. So he was monitored by doctors, um, administered, I think, some form of vitamin about halfway through. Yeah. Um, and that's it. Like, and then he maintained his weight loss. So yeah. just because you lose weight quickly or use an unsustainable approach to dieting yeah. doesn't mean that you're just going to bang it back on. A lot of people go, oh, that diet didn't work because you just regain all the weight after. No, it's no. not the diet that didn't no, fucking you work. Didn't it's work. you afterwards. You didn't work. You just, you just ate all that shit you were eating before exactly the same way. And that's what we talked about habits before. You've got to change your habits. It's nothing to do with the diet, how quick, how many calories you're on, the macros you're on, or anything like that. 
you have to actually fucking want to keep the weight off. Yeah, exactly that. And by doing things like tracking your food, being a little bit more flexible, varying the rate at which you lose your weight because you're able to do socials and stuff like that, you're going to get a feel of how to live a normal life when you when you maintain. And you should be able to do that fairly easily. You're never going to be able to go back to doing what you're doing before. Like you've got to you've, you've got to take that on the, on the chin. Yeah.